guys, um, I'm making a video today because I'm going to show you a tutorial of it, and I know it's been a while since I've been making Minecraft videos, and there, and recently I've gotten so much views in that other videos about the how to make the other right and it was really good. I got like 60 views in that, and I would like to support this video because this is going to also be a tutorial video, and if you're wondering why I'm having these in the is because like I'm gonna show you how to make an infinite problem um I mean like an infinite water and lava source system and I put it over there and I made a giant railway system just as a cool thing and uh and I'm gonna be showing you how to make uh, like an infinite water book water and lava source what so you'll need eight cauldrons eight pointed dripstone and Deep Slate is the bo block I would recommend. And then you're gonna need um like water and lava for this in order to make make infinite water and lava sources. But it will take time for you to get infinite lava sources and water. But I'm gonna show you in a place like this. Like I'm gonna show an idea of it to you. Like over here, this is how it would look. But if you're wondering how to build it, I, I can show that to you right now. So, first if I find an empty land, like, for example, if I, like, um, put, um, all of this, like, over here. And, and I'm using, like, Bad Line Find. It's the best client I would recommend for, while playing Minecraft. Because you can have Optifine, and also other things you can see. Um, like on the right side of the screen. You can also see the time if you're having full screen. Uh, and also, if I look at this grass block, you can see um, information. And I also have a mini map. And you can also see, like, I'm holding seeds on the left part of the screen and stuff. But we don't need wheat seeds for this process. So, yeah. Okay, so first, we're gonna need, like, one, two, three, four. For the first layer, and then you can have like, like, at least three block spaces, like, like this much space, and then you can do another like, other one. And then I I I recommend toweling up a bit, and then putting in actually. So I'll do like this. Thanks for the 1.17 update recently, even though it was like a month ago. Uh, this thing helps us in new ways of creating stuff, like for example this one. Because you cannot make this without dripstone. So So now you're gonna have to place your floor planted dripstones like this. And then see your water's already starting to come even though there is no water. But this one's gonna be a water one. Now this place is full, this is all you need because the dripstones will already get to work and then it'll start filling up the cauldrons. And then with your buckets that you have here, you can fill them up and you can have infinite call um like water sources if you're at a land that has mostly no water at all and then we're going to have to do the same thing for this part as well we're going to have to do it like this this could be built in survival or creative ingredients can also be got get in survival and this will be really useful if you're doing like hardcore, and by the way, if, yeah, I died in my hardcore world. So if you're wondering why, then that's oh wait, oh no, I made a mistake. So I know sometimes making mistakes is pretty simple. So you got gotta watch out for that, like just what I did. But it's basically kind of the same. Just make this frame and then put it like this. Even you can make your things fancy, like since this is a video, this is kind of like 
like deep slate. If you can, if it's just normal deep slate, you can do it as a design like this for the frames. That would make it really cool for your um, for your for your infinite for infinite lava and water source. And then you can also put lava here, and the same just like water. And now since these two are full, they'll start putting um, water, like lava in the cauldrons. And if you're wondering after um you um have this and then if you don't know where to keep it because of the amount um, amount of buckets you have, you can you can make your own pool like this. Like this was natural spawn, but I made an like in my old one, I made an, another one like over here, like over here. Like this one is for water, and I have been making some stuff here for example, like, for example, like this thing, which is really useful. And like you can see, like the water is being collected in this, and also already the lava has been collected. And then I have this place to keep water, and then this is the place where I keep the lava. So you can keep create think pools of like that. So this is basically it, guys. This is the tutorial of how to make infinite water and lava source. Oops. Oh well, yeah. As I told you, you can make silly mistakes. If you it can also kind of work if you put it without crystal, but that kind of happens rarely. It will only be perfect with dripstone, like it will fall into the cauldrons. So yeah, this is basically it, guys. Or, or wait, I'm just doing this as an experiment. This could be a water thing. And if we go yeah, it's already starting to come like that. Oh, I'm just doing this right now. Yeah, that should do it. And then, yeah, you can have an underground one, like, right in the center. Well, this is basically it, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Like, oh, and look, already the lava's been filled in this one. And the water is still kind of pro in progress. So, the water takes a bit of the time. I'm just saying this before we end. And the lava kind is kind of quick, so I hope you really enjoyed this, and this could help you out. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and comment down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one.